Hello, I'm a member from the Matamos team, and today I'll show you how to deploy Matamos on Azure with Bitnami to evaluate the leading secure collaboration platform for technical teams. For this training, we will use Bitnami in the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. And Bitnami is basically a library of installers or software packages that you can use for web applications in various software stacks. First, we will head over to bitnami.com. We will select application and then search for Mattermost. And the option that's presented is Mattermost Team Edition, which is the free open source version of Mattermost packaged by Bitnami for an easy one-click install solution. You can either deploy it on the cloud or on your computer via virtual machines. Today we'll show you how to deploy it on the cloud. And you have three options. You can deploy it with GCP, with AWS or Azure. And I will launch Mattermost with Azure. And our tool, essentially two steps, launching the package and then getting your credentials. So let's go ahead and launch Mattermost in Azure. And uh, you'll be redirected to the Azure Marketplace where uh, you'll see an overview of the package um, managed by Bitnami, plans, ratings, and more. We will click Get It Now and uh, click Continue. Bitnami regularly updates the package for secure, ready-to-use option for Mattermost on the cloud using Azure. And um, you have two different options for creating your package. You can create it from scratch, or you can start with a preset um, uh, configuration settings. And for this training, we will use the preset configuration settings as it will allow us to complete the deployment faster. So I'll go ahead. Now, if you haven't created an account in Azure Marketplace before, at this step, you will not be prompted to create one. Um, it's, it's very simple. Uh, and you can simply follow the steps to register the account. It will ask for your name, your work email, country, or region, and your phone number to proceed. And uh, once you register your account, you can start a free Azure trial account and then be redirected back to this page. Now, for the pre-configured workspace environments, you have the option of choosing between a dev test or a production workload environment, as well as between three different workload types. Uh, for the purpose of the training um, here, we'll just go with default options. Continue to create a virtual machine. Here you can configure various information. Um, for basics, we will specify a name for the virtual machine. Let's say it's Mattermost-Bitnami-Azure. We'll choose the region. Um, which is, in this case, East US by default. And then you can choose the size. And uh, to get started with Mattermost, all you need is a one virtual CPU and two gigabytes of memory. So we will go with the standard B1MS size for the virtual machine. Uh, later, if you deploy this image for production, you can easily uh, upgrade the infrastructure to meet your team's needs. We'll then click Review and Create. And we'll simply review the information, and assuming it's it's uh, all good, we can click Create to create that virtual machine. It will prompt you to download the private key. So when, when it creates the virtual machine, it will generate a new key pair um, and uh, prompt you to download the private key. And once it's downloaded, it will go ahead and create the resource, initialize deployment, submit the deployment, ready for use. Note that apart from the Azure infrastructure costs. You can run Mattermost for free for unlimited number of users for an unlimited time of, for an unlimited time at no charge. So this is a free package that Bitnami um, offers to those who would like to try and use Mattermost. So we can see that the resource group for Mattermost-Bitnami-Azure was created. And uh, we just got a note saying deployment succeeded. And uh, if we select the Mattermost Bitnami Azure virtual machine from the list of resources, you will get all the essential information about your environment. Now, you might see that the virtual machine isn't ready yet. That's okay because it's still loading the resources. As you can see, the, the status is running. It's just taking a few moments to load all the resources um, to uh, successfully run Mattermost. In the meantime, one setting that you will need to configure on this page is the DNS name. So you'll see that the DNS name isn't configured and you will need it to access the Mattermost web application. So let's go ahead and click on the not configured. 
And in here, you can specify um, the DNS name for your application. Um, so we'll go ahead and call it Mattermost Dash Azure. Looks like it's available. We'll click Save. And it successfully saved the public IP address changes. Now it will take a few few um, uh, seconds to reflect the DNS name and for you to access that resource. Now, if you go back to the Bitnami page and the deployment offering, uh, you might remember that there were two steps to get started. There's launching the Mattermost packaged uh, by Bitnami, which we have now completed. The second step is to retrieve your credentials. Um, to get access to the application. So the application login credentials are user is the username that you can use. And the password is automatically generated when the virtual machine is created. And the password is very easy to retrieve. So we go back to the Azure Marketplace, uh, to our virtual machine dashboard. On the left-hand side, we go under to the help menu and under boot diagnostics. If we go to the serial log, um, this page gives all of the logs associated with uh, your virtual machine um, uh, with various server log and, and audit information and activity information. So we search for password and um, we'll find here a note setting Bitnami application password to this random string. So this is the random string um, that will be used to authenticate into the Mattermost workspace. And so I will simply copy this over to my clipboard. And then go back to the overview. We can now see that the DNS name has been configured. So we're going to copy that and uh, open it in a new web browser. Now it will prompt you that the connection is in private. And that is because the SSL hasn't been, hasn't been configured for the Mattermost instance. Uh, for trial purposes, that is completely fine. But if you do deploy to production, uh, we do strongly recommend uh, configuring SSL for your Mattermost instance for improved security. But for this trial, we'll simply click Advanced and proceed to the work workspace. You will have two options. You can either view um, and use Mattermost on the desktop app, which is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. There's a link to download the app um, right away, or you can simply proceed. And, and use Mattermost in the browser. Now, uh, the login credentials, so the username was user, and the password is the previous password we copied from um, the board diagnostics logs. We'll click login, and you're automatically joined to your Mattermost workspace. As a side note, in addition to the SSL configuration, the preview mode also doesn't have email notifications enabled. So if you did deploy, decide to deploy this image to production, we would strongly recommend enabling and configuring the SSL, SSL configuration, but also your email notification service so that your users uh, can, get, can get notified of important updates in Mattermost. But for now, uh, we can proceed without configuring email notifications. Now you'll be prompted with an onboarding that you can walk through, including a video that provides an overview of the secure collaboration platform. Let's actually go ahead and complete our profile. So we can add our add our name. Let's suppose it's John Smith. We can update our username from user to John Smith, as well as our nickname. And then let's add a profile picture as well. And let's save. And now you're ready to get started in Mattermost. You can invite easily invite others to the workspace by adding their um, email address and inviting them, or you can copy an invite link and share the invite link to your team, uh, which they can use to join your workspace. We can also open the marketplace inside Mattermost. It includes integrations for various applications used by technical teams, such as in Circle CI, Digital Ocean, um, GitHub and GitLab, Jenkins, Jira, and much more. And uh, let's suppose we wanted to install the Microsoft Teams meetings integration for integrating uh, Mattermost with the meetings audio video conferencing. We simply click install. And in just a few seconds, it has installed the Microsoft Teams meetings integration. And you can configure it by adding a few simple, simple settings um, to easily integrate uh, Microsoft Teams meetings with Mattermost. 
And similarly for your other um, applications used by your technical team. For the resources and information, you can go to docs.mattermost.com and have full access to all of the administration guides, user guides, and, and other resources. And that's all for me today. Use the Bitnami package. You can get started with Mattermost on Azure within minutes and start using the leading secure collaboration platform for your technical teams right away.